guys, it's Sarah's Night, and I'm back with the final episode of the year. And hopefully this time I'll uh, make it count. So uh, apparently we're just going to have the uh, normal battle with the four zombified dudes with AK-47 standing up here at the altar. Then apparently I just have to go through one version of the entity as a final boss, and that's it. So, but what's that supposed to be? Okay. Anyway. Let's take off these stupid goggles. I don't like that. I know I haven't been to church in a while, Scully, but this isn't what I remember. Is that him? The it's because it's not supposed to be like that, really. Normal. Or maybe not so much. Maybe that's the wrong word. Kelly, run! Good job, Mulder. You just sat there and let the dude well on you. God, what an idiot. I also like how the zombie kept shooting Scully as she just sat there and watched Mulder die. Okay, let's try that again. I guess I should have ran immediately, shouldn't I? Okay, let's get one. Oh. I could be in trouble here. Yeah, running away didn't quite work that time, did it? Impulse just sitting there like, eh. Oh, this is a bad omen, though. It might take me a few tries against that entity boss again because, I mean, I remember the strategy Mulder could use all the time, but it's been a couple of days since I played through that. Okay. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Mulder, would you like to get over here? Thank you. Okay. Luckily, we're able to use the cover of the pillar, it looks like. In any realistic situation, they would have been immediately owned. Okay, do I have all the AK-47 ammo that I need? Yep. I could swear there were four of them, though, so... Ah, more. Good news. Ah, oh, God, let's take these stupid things off. Scully, look at the markings on this door. I've seen this before, Mulder. Alien symbols. I think I can decipher this. It's here. How? Doors. And what do we do when we get there? I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. He derives his power from the artifact. We it's gotten you through nine seasons so far, hasn't it? It'll piss him off even more. You work on this door. I think I can find another way in. Any other words of advice? Resist or serve. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait a minute, what the heck? Oh, 
Silas isn't here yet. He's just around. Time, that'll be the death of you. Okay. Well, if I'm not gonna find another first aid kit, hopefully, uh. Oh, a key. That's all that will be required to go through the door, actually. Actually, um, I'll go back and save on a different file, just in case I'm having trouble against the boss, and, you know. I'll just try to get through the previous fight a little bit better off. Oh, that was a little bit unexpected, wasn't it? So much for deciphering that alien writing. All you gotta do is actually just unlock the friggin' door. Whoops! I did exactly what I wasn't going to do. Or didn't want to do. Okay, well, whatever. Just me and the boss then. You know, with this much AK-47 ammo, I think I can pretty much just unload on him. And I really have to worry about killing off a zombie so that he does the, you know, revival animation, which I can do significant damage. I assume I had that missing piece, but one, why are there dead bodies in here? Two, why was there ever a piece broken off? Uh, please tell me in comments below if I missed a plot point of some sort. Oh, um, okay, well. Walker's not telling me that there's anything in here, so let's just go ahead and open her up. Oh, well, I guess I actually did have to open up the case first, don't I? By the way, I seem to be poisoned. There just happen to be zombies in the room for you to... Oh, they're gonna get me against the wall. This isn't good. Well, whatever happens, don't get directly in front of them, eh? Surely he's going to use a revival animation now. Oh, and I have totally missed it.
That'll work. Ah, good. Just where I wanted him. He's directly in front of me. You dead? Okay, well that was weird how the music suddenly changed. Small piece of alien artifact has re... boarded? Okay. With its larger counterpart. This man that has harnessed the energy while he appears to be just an elderly man, approximately 90 to 100 years in age, must have something alien in his physiology that made his connection to the artifact possible. Good to know. By the way, that whole entire time, um, I only had like the, I only had like, you know, the one ammo canister for the flamethrower. And I'm just trying to find a good point to actually turn around and shoot here. And the frames are lagging like crazy. Oh, that was it, huh? Okay. Good thing those other zombies actually took a moment to fight each other for a second. Well, that's that. Just in case there are any more surprises. Okay, so now what do I do? What's this? Oh, there was a first aid kit in the room. That's convenient. give you a last chance there. Uh, seriously. What am I supposed to do here? Do I just leave? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh no, as far as I know, just remerging that one little piece back into the artifact... I guess that was supposed to open the way to the spaceship or whatever. So yeah, apparently we just follow after Mulder here. What do you mean we have to get out of here? What's stopping you from exploring the ship? Like this time they don't even really have an explanation for why Mulder and Scully are so close to seeing physical proof right in front of them, undeniable, and they have to, you know, escape at the last minute and just cut their losses. Well, seriously, what's... What's stopping us? Well, I guess that's that. Now we'll never know, huh? At least Mulder got to see it, I guess. Sorry, wrong. Wrong escape route.
Oh, the boat just happens to be right parked on outside. That's great. Well, ending scene. Oh, that's what was holding us up. Okay. How did Scully know the place was going to explode again? <laughs> It's gone. Well. Well? There is pressure on this body from the Attorney General's office to put together an accurate picture of what happened in Red Falls, Colorado, as well as the Tunguska River region of Siberia. The pieces of this puzzle, as presented in both your reports, include an alien artifact with the power to raise the dead, a hidden biotech company funding a project to produce psychic clones, and this a looks like man he's about to draw a gun on that dude. as an entity who somehow had the power to control an army of avatars and the undead. But your version of the facts read like the elements from a science fiction video game. If you want to characterize the this is a science video fiction video game, game. You stop the men who were pumping quarters into the machine. Countless <laughs> numbers dead, millions of dollars in damage. Do you think this is a joke, Agent Mulder? It's neither a game nor a joke. We were used by a shadow, by a shadow conspiracy of men within our government who of which you yourself are a part of their own purposes i read the report agent Mulder. a serious accusation but like so many other incredible and implausible entries in your story i don't see how we can include it in our final report to the justice department the one fact that remains undeniable is that you were exposed to unhealthy mind-altering doses of radiation and toxins isn't that correct agent Scully? then correct. treat me as is your description of these events as being incredible and implausible but they are the truth frankly agent Scully. That sounds like something we would have expected from Agent Mulder. I bore witness to these events. I held tangible evidence of alien life in my hand. By the way, I you got rid of it. Agent Scully, but as a woman of science, you must appreciate our position, unless you're still in possession of this tangible evidence. Because this board is split on what the future of the X-Files office will be, I am going to defer to your direct supervisor, Assistant Director Skinner, to decide what action should be taken in this matter. Agents Mulder and Scully both ignored a direct request from my office to step away from their case after the tragedy in Red Falls. Only Mulder I would did. recommend an official reprimand for their actions, but I temper that with the fact that if not for their actions, more lives would have been lost. We will never fully understand how the pieces of this puzzle, as you describe it, fit together, which is exactly why the X-Files office should remain open. I just warn you to tread lightly, Agent Mulder. They're looking for any reason to shut you down. What? This... Kirsch have us on double sacred probation. They could have done it right then and there. Listen to me as your superior, at least listen to me as a friend of you and of the X-Files. Just what Kirsch wants. He keeps making us and Skinner look foolish. He'll ride this pony right to promotion. The men behind this get what they want, a story of necessary and plausible denial, and we get sent back to the basement with the dunce cat. At least Mulder's looking Scully in the face this time. Is there no victory that you can take from this? We stopped them. I know it's not over, but we stopped them from winning this battle. How many more people would have died if we had failed? And the smoking man, Krychek, these men were left with nothing. I want to believe that, Scully, I do. But, and you're right, as long as we're together, it's a victory. Uh, well, that's nice, I guess. Go back to the simplicity of it. We still have each other. You know, that's a valid plot point. Why the hell did Scully give up her piece of the art? She could have presented it. I mean, with some scientific study, maybe that would have... Why did she feel the need to merge it with that larger artifact? and summon the entity and uh, I guess it was to summon the ship and so at least Mulder saw it but honestly 
What does it matter if he's the only one who saw it? Only he knows. It's certainly not going to convince anybody else. Well, um... Yeah, I can't believe I actually managed to do that on my first try, even though walkthrough was right. It is a lot more manageable on Scully's game. But that's uh, the X-Files Resist or Serve. I... I don't know. This game... It's better than... It really is better than I thought it would be. You just don't expect a game based off of a TV show or a movie... You know, to... Even if even if it's not a rushed product, product that, you know, comes out before the actual original movie or TV show. I mean, it's... It's usually really bad with it. Like, they just don't care about the controls. You know, the, the play control or... Or even really including a lot of elements from the you know, from the core of the franchise that would that would familiarize, you know, fans with as they're playing as they're playing the game. But this had a lot of elements from the X Files, especially the music. And Mulder and Scully still have their banter that they usually do. But in the play control it was passable. I guess the negatives were, you know, again, the control still wasn't that great. The camera angles changing in the way they do so abruptly that you end up, you know, running right back in the, in the direction you came from. And that just happened way too much. It was a little bit annoying. And then, of course, you know, on Mulder's game, they just bog him down with boss fight after boss fight where he has to use up all his ammo and supplies and... You know, and then they give him the much harder boss fight that you have to... I mean, it's like running a gauntlet. You have to have a lot of stuff stocked up for it. And also, notice the graphics. They were actually pretty bad. I think this game came out in 2004 or 2003. I mean, at the time, these graphics are pretty bad. I mean, they're not terrible, but they're definitely inferior. And there's no excuse for at least not matching what the platform is capable of. And it's like the cutscenes even looked worse than the than the in-game graphics at, you know, seemingly. Uh, it's the way Mulder and Scully looked in the cutscenes, it's like they were, they weren't very animate. <laughs> but I guess they did, you know, they at least tried to make the characters look something. I, you could at least tell which characters are what, who they were supposed to represent from the show. And I mean, sometimes even that's like a tall order to fit to fill on the part of some third-party developers when they're making a game like this. So, um, yeah, I guess if I were grading this on some kind of, you know, video game school exam, uh, I would give it like about a 65%. It's a little bit below, it's a little bit below average, but it's still passable. I mean, it's enough to maintain integrity, I suppose. So, all in all, um, I'm glad I went through the experience, but of course, this will definitely be the only time I play through the game, I'm sure. I'm probably going to chunk this out in the in the dumpster out in the parking lot be, behind my apartment in order to, yeah, and that's, I mean, that's it. I'm just going to have this LP and that's it, as any proof that I ever even played this game. I would show y'all the storyboards and extra videos that we seem to get at the end of every episode but honestly I mean they, they might be fun to go through but I'm just going to go through them myself later on you know when I feel like just sitting down and chillaxing for a bit if I try to if I try to put them in a in an episode I'm pretty sure that you know YouTube is going to is going to blow the whistle on me for copyright infringement and all that other stuff so um yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I enjoyed doing this LP overall. And uh, next time, in fact, this weekend, I'll be starting up Resident Evil 1, supposedly, with Lantis, unless plans just change at the last moment. And from there, we'll go through every Resident Evil game and Final Fantasy 7. Uh, I like to think that I'm still going to have to figure out a lot of things with that, trying to get that set up. And also, of course, I'll... I'll finish up the the Mega Man X series that Ix Ixion started with X7 and X8, and I think that's uh, pretty much all I have planned for next year. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in, guys. Happy New Year. Uh, don't stay out too late tonight, you know, carousing and getting into trouble. See ya.